Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my part two uh, project vlog for the alternate Lolita dress of the Simplicity 844. Man, that is a mouthful. <laughs> um, so I have tried to start right now. It's later in the day just because I had a lot going on this morning. So I wanted to start now and get a, a go on the, the dress part essentially, but I'm kind of stuck. First off, I did put the ribbon on the back of the blouse. So here's what it looks like. So this is the ribbon on the back of the blouse. Super cute. Uh, yeah, so the blouse is done. Blouse is complete. It's ready to go. But I guess I'm more at a loss for where to place all the trims and what trims I want to use. So this is what I'm kind of faced with right now, I guess. All right, so here is the bodice, right? And I need to figure it out because the first step to this is right here, is to start this, right? And this is fine, I'll figure, this is not a problem. But right after that, I have to know where I want all the trims to go because then I'm gonna start pretty much assembling it. So I don't know, well, let me grab my trim so you can see what I'm talking about. So I have this one, it's like a little braided trim here. Then I have this one, which is like a, a little braid. And I have, of course I have the ribbon. This isn't the size, I just didn't open the size, but to give you an idea. So these are the three that I have. Now I know, that I want to put a trim at the bottom edge of the skirt because the skirt is going to be the full circle. So this is the skirt I'm going to be doing. So it's just the basic skirt. I'm not doing the opening. So I'm going to put some trim along the bottom edge just to give it the sort of matching element to match the bot or not this bodice, sorry, to match the bodice up top. So I have enough of this one to go completely around the whole bottom edge. So see there's there's this trim here, there's this little trim here, and then, and then I also wanna do the trim right here on the straps. So I don't know, I guess I'd have to use this one, right? To tie it with the skirt. So if I do that, then do I wanna put this all through here as well and then maybe use this one to do this trim right here this little cross thing since I'm not doing the fabric I'm just gonna put trim there so it kind of look like that like a little dainty one I don't know if that would be weird because I don't have this anywhere else at that point or to use this one here and yeah, to do this one here and then the, the braided one there or use this one on all the lines and then the braided trim over. Ooh, maybe I'll do that and put the braided or put this trim on these lines and then this trim, nope, this trim on this part right here. And that will go here and the straps and the bottom of the skirt. Maybe like that. What do you guys think? <laughs> kind of pointless because I'll already be done by the time you see this, but no, definitely. Let me know what you think. What would you have done? But I think I might do that. I'll use this trim on the lines, this trim going across like so. Hopefully that's not gonna be too much because these are slightly different golds. So, I don't know, I think I'm just gonna sit here and play with it another few minutes, but it's definitely eating up the time today because <laughs> it's already 4.30 and I'm gonna have to make dinner in, in a little bit. I guess I won't be starting the dress today, I will start it tomorrow, but I definitely need to have my plan set by tomorrow. And then the ribbon, of course the ribbon is gonna go across here. And then I think I'll make a little bow with the ribbon and put the bow right here in the middle. 
So that way that kind of looks nice and ties it in. Since I'm not doing these bows, I, will, I, I don't have gold that would work there. So maybe I'll just do it with the ribbon. So I don't know. I'll be here still thinking about it. So I guess I'll let you know what I come up with once I figure it out. Ah, decisions, decisions. I don't know. I just don't know. I did have to repaint my nails today. Look, I already chipped it up. Go figure. But yeah, I already painted, repainted my nails because they were falling apart. And yeah, so, okay. I'll come back a little later. Hopefully I'll know what I'm doing by then. So I was thinking to myself like, duh, let's make a mock-up. So this is kind of a mock-up of what I'm thinking. Um, minus the other half. So if you look at it like this, what do you guys think about this? It only looks weird with this. This looks out of place, but since it's gonna be on the shoulder straps and the bottom of the dress, I don't think it'll look that weird in the end. Like this will all be in the bodice, this will be in the center with the bow, and then this will be on the top, this one middle, and the bottom of the skirt. So I think this is what I'm gonna go with, and I am just gonna hope for the best, and hopefully everything ties together in the end. You can see they're kind of all slightly different goals. <laughs> These two are pretty close, actually. These two are the closest, but this one's definitely a different tone but like I said I think because it's so small and it's gonna have other parts of it on the dress I th I think it'll be okay and I'm thinking with the ribbon bow that's where I'll add one of these so there'll be like a little bow and then I'll put one of the maybe this one since it's the dark blue I think that'll look really nice with all the anchors around. I don't think, I don't know if the anchor would do, would do it more justice. No, see it doesn't stand out as much there. So I think I'll put a little, um, I don't know the proper name for it, but the wheel, the steering wheel. <laughs> I highly doubt that's what it's called. But I think I'll put a steering wheel like that. And since it's got this little thing, I have to see if I can find like just a tiny, tiny little charm, like a, uh, like a little gemstone charm, but like tiny, tiny, tiny. I don't want something like huge like this. I want it to be really dainty. So it'll look like that. What do you guys think? I'm actually really loving that. Super loving that. Okay. So that's what's going to happen from this point. Wish me luck guys. Hopefully Hopefully this vision comes to life and it doesn't look weird. Okay, so I think I'm done for the day. The sun is starting to go down now. I did get a small start, so at least I'm started. It's not too bad. Um, I finished the front section of the bodice. So now we can kind of play with it a little more now that everything's kind of together. We can see the placement of the trims and see how they look there now. Here is the bodice front. It looks really, really pretty. I'm liking how it's coming together so far. I must have measured a little weird or sewed them on a little off because they're kind of tight on the straps here. So you can kind of see that it's bunching a little tiny bit, but hopefully when I'm wearing it, that won't be a problem. I did put the lace on. Now this is a much bigger lace, but I didn't want too much. Just like on the sleeves, just like on the sleeves here, I did put it on at the bottom, but I just made it so that it was peeking out because I don't want this to be like super lace, lace heavy because that's how the other one I was, I think was. So I just wanted the accent there. And then you see, I like, I tucked it in like how the angelic pretty was. I sewed it a little higher up. So that's why it's hidden so much with the fold over. So I really um, just made it peek out on the sides a little bit. Okay, so this trim is gonna go right here. 
like so. And then it will also go right here, like so. And then this one is where I'm gonna pick up tomorrow. It's this gathered top here. So it'll kind of look like that, but gathered. And then this will go right across on top. How does that look? I think it looks okay. Yeah, I really think that's gonna look real nice. So I feel a little better now. And then of course, I'm gonna add some more of the of the ribbon. There we go. I tied a makeshift a makeshift bow real quick. And then it'll have the little oops, the little wheel there. What do you guys think? How's it looking so far? I think I'm loving it. I'm a little I'm feeling a lot better with this now. Something like that. Yeah, I think we're gonna be okay. All right. Well, I'm going to leave this here today and then I will pick up tomorrow on Saturday. Hello everyone. Today is now Saturday, the 8th. And I have been sewing all day. I did start um, moving on from where I was on the blouse. I know I totally forgot to finish checking in, but of course, one of the girls, what did she do? She bit her lip or something and then drama, <laughs> drama, the whole world is ending. And then I, <laughs> by then they, they were attached to my hip and I couldn't get away from them. So this morning, same thing. They were just attached to me all day long since my husband was out um, helping a friend do some more construction-y type work, just had giving him a hand. And um, yeah, so I've been sewing all day, so I have been at it. And I pretty much could finish this dress today, but I think I'm gonna stop here. So this is what I have um, so far. So I did finish the top of the bodice and I'm really liking it. Happy with the decisions, there's the straps. Pretty, the straps are so pretty. So like I said, I think I think that's gonna tie all this in together. Um, but there's a whole bodice. Super good, super happy. At the end, I'll add the bow and I think I will make a trip to the craft store maybe tomorrow and I'll see if I can find a little gem to put at the bottom of the, to put at the bottom of the little wheel. Since it has this hook, I think it looked kind of weird hanging with that there, like maybe something fell off. So I think I'll have to add something there. Like I said, I'll probably get a, just another little white um, rhinestone. I do have the clasp, like I do have rhinestones like this, but I have them in silver, like the clasp to hold it not gold, so I can't use it. So maybe I'll just go get the class. I don't know, I'll see. I'll see what the fabric store has. It just as a little tiny charm to put under there. Yeah, so the bow and stuff, that'll go on at the very end. But I did finish, as you saw a second ago, I did finish all the ruching in the back. So this panel is ready to be sewn together. So yeah, it's gonna be real quick. I just pretty much sew it on, sew it together sew down the lining on the sides, and then I start working on the skirt pretty much, finish the skirt up since it's just a circle skirt. Um, it should be easy to sew up, gather it up, put, attach it to the bottom, hand stitch uh, the bottom edge of the lining to close everything up. Oh, and then all the trims at the bottom of the skirt. So I'm almost there. Like I said, I could definitely get it done today it's only six o'clock, so I do have an hour. So I would have probably finished most of it, but I think I'm just gonna take a break today. My back is kind of hurting. So I don't know if it's from my workouts because I was doing a lot of back stuff. Um, not back stuff, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing, but my back is bugging me. So I'm just gonna take a break before it gets any worse. And hopefully it's just soreness. 
but otherwise I will come back tomorrow and hopefully finish up this dress and we can see all together. Actually, I can put it together with the blouse and let's, you can take a peek of kind of what it's gonna look like at this point so far. So here's to kind of give you an idea what it would look like. Now that I see it together, when I see them separately, they're both beautiful. But when I see them together, I don't know, I'm not convinced. Maybe I'm just, it's because I'm missing the skirt portion and like the cutoff is making it feel weird to me, but I'm just gonna have to wait and see. I mean, it is what it is essentially, but I love each piece separately. So hopefully this all comes together in the end. But yeah, there's a little glimpse of what it's kind of gonna look like. But I will see you guys tomorrow and finish this up. And depending what I'm doing on Monday and Tuesday, I may get all the get up going <laughs> with everything on and like makeup and stuff, which I gotta go find some like makeup ideas. Um, I know they have very subtle makeup. Like it's not like, you know, Americanized makeup <laughs> where it's like cover your face. <laughs> it's very like simplistic makeup, um, natural. So I'm gonna go try and find some ideas probably tomorrow too. Hopefully by Tuesday, I can kind of have everything on and do my little, what is it? Like do my little outro and where I always wear the whole thing um, at the end so you can see what it looks like on. I will use my petticoat that I have the tutorial for. So that's the same petticoat that I'm using. Love that petticoat, works for everything. So that is it for now and I will talk to you tomorrow. Happy Monday, everyone. So today I'm planning to finish up this dress. I decided yesterday that I just wanted to take the day off. It was Mother's Day and my husband bought me a new pot for my little aloe plant. And so I ended up repotting the whole handful of plants that I have. I just kind of moved them all into the bigger pots uh, as I emptied each one because they were all growing a little too big for the homes that they were in. So I did that yesterday and I just decided I'm almost done with the dress, so I might as well just take this day to myself pretty much. But I did do a little start so far on the bodice blouse and I got it all put together. So here's what it looks like put together. So I have it done. I tried to roll it up so I can kind of see what it looked like. But essentially that's, that's all put together. And then, and here is the back. Now the straps aren't attached. I just tucked them in for now. So that's one of the last things you do, I think. Uh, but I did tuck it in. I put on the whole um, ruched back. So this is all attached. See, I folded it up again. So the whole bodice part is pretty much done. Like I said, I'm not too sure yet how I feel about it. I like each one separately, the blouse and the top of the dress. I like them each separately. I don't know if I like them together, but I don't know. We'll see once we attach the skirt. So here's my giant piece for the skirt. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sew this up real quick. It shouldn't take me too long to finish this up. Um, I'm not doing the opened, I'm not doing this opening so that saves me lots of time because I'm pretty much just making the circle and then gathering and then trims at the bottom. So I'm going to finish that up and I'll come back once I'm done. All right, so it's about seven o'clock and I have finished the dress. So... I guess let me just show you what it looks like and then I can go into a little more details. So here she is, all done. She is pretty. I don't know if I'm in love though, but I'm really happy with it. Um, did it come out exactly how it was in my head? Mm, no, not necessarily. I think it looked prettier in my head. Oh, see, I did put the, the bow and the wheel on. I really gotta look up the name for this. 
it's not a, just a wheel, but I put it on just to see. I'm gonna go to Joanne's or some or somewhere tomorrow, some craft store, and get the little uh, gemstone to hang there. See what I can find. But yeah, this is it. It's nice. I remember I knew I should have added some sort of structure in the bodice because it's still doing that like slightly drapey thing. It just needs something in this bodice, like some sort of boning. Even if it's just like here or here, it needs some sort of boning to give it like more structure. So when I was shoving this on to the mannequin, my stitching came out, so I'm gonna have to fix that, but I figured I'd just show it first before I like shove it back off again. But there's the back. Pretty good. So I remember something about the gathering last time, and I was like, okay, I remember there being too much, too much gathering in the front. So I lessened it. Let me turn around the other way here. I put less gathering in the front here, so it's not so bunchy, and I spread it out. The sides took most of it, and then I was like halfway through of sewing it, I was like, oh, you know what I should have done? I should have shoved some of this back here because once I put this on my waist, it's gonna stretch out a little more and that's gonna make the gathers lessen a little bit. So it's gonna be really bunched up here and on the other side is the same since I did the gather so tight on the sides. So just a tidbit, if you're doing this, I would definitely not match up the dots that it says on the sides. I would push those dots back to like here maybe, like a couple inches back on each side from the, from the side seams. So push a lot of these gathers back here and then between the two dots that would be here then then gather all this here. So that way when you put it on and it stretches out to your waist, it won't be so thinned out and gathers. I don't know if you can tell. So just a little tip there. Um, but I definitely lessened it. I'm gonna wipe all this off. But I definitely lessened it in the, um, in the front and I like the front. It looks much better, not so chunky in the front. Um, but I like the skirt. It's a nice, good, full skirt. Otherwise, I have the petty, my black petticoat underneath, my black one. So I'll link the tutorial for that if you want to make a petticoat as well. It's a cupcake-shaped petticoat. But, yeah, the ruching, ruching's okay. I wish it didn't start here. I wish it started more back here. I feel like that might help with structure too. But I think they did this because there's no other like option to get into it. Like there's no zipper in this. So if you do push it back where you just cut off this much and um, add like a panel and then make this much smaller, then you would definitely need to add like a zipper on the side somewhere to help get into it. Cause it's not gonna stretch as much to get over depending on your body shape. So yeah, that's the dress. And I put the trim on there on the bottom. Don't mind the toys. It looks pretty in the back. So what I'm thinking is I don't know how to accessorize this. I mean, I know what Lolita's do with accessories. Like they have bows or bonnets, hats. Um, and like headband, like um, lacy headbands and stuff. So the thing is with this, oh my thing broke. Just never mind that. It needs to be super glued. I have it. It broke during the move. But I. But the thing is. Well, let me just show you. So I actually have this pattern as well. It's like a companion pattern to this one, obviously. So she's actually wearing this bow right here. I don't like that bow. <laughs> I think it's too big. I think it needs to be a little smaller, which I can make it easily without the pattern. But this is what I mean with like the little bonnets. Um, 
These I see more without the ears usually, but I usually see these or I see like this, but in like a headband, like a thick headband style. So I'm thinking maybe I should make a little bow just to round out the, the whole outfit. Yeah, see, it's like a little scrunchy bonnet. So I don't know if I want to add that to to the tutorial. I'm sure it's a quick little stitch up. If I were to do one, I, I would probably either just do a bow on a headband, which I can already do by myself. That's easy. I don't know how that little, I can't do this. I think that's too much to do right now to finish up this video and then work on the, the tutorial part. E, where is E? Headpiece. Half a yard, interfacing. I mean, it doesn't take much, but, hmm. Decisions, decisions. What do you think? What would you do with this one? I don't have bows on the dress. It would kind of look like this, essentially, minus this big one here. It would have this bow. This is the skirt, the shape of the skirt. So maybe I'll just do a quick bow and call it a day. And then maybe I'll do a separate tutorial later on doing one of these, especially this big one. Which one is it? Is it B? B is the big one? Yeah. So maybe in the future I can do this one and maybe the scrunchy one. So depending how much work is in this one, I can maybe do two of them. Or three, because the bow's real easy. That's not difficult to do. I can always throw that in there if the video is not too long already. So let me know what you guys think about that for the 8443. Would you guys like to see a tutorial on this? On the bonnet and the like scrunchy headband? Oh yeah, I guess it is, huh? That's lace. It looked like it went farther back. But let me know if that's something you want to see. I would only be doing these two and maybe a bow. Not this bow, but definitely a bow. Um, I don't know about that one. This is a very specific look, I think. Those, no. These look more steampunk than anything else. Um, and not the purse. So let me know if you guys want to see me do those two um, headbands and a bonnet. If you're interested in that. And then maybe if I get enough interest in it, then I'll do it in the future. Um, but I think for now, I guess I'll just go with a bow and I'll make my own and have that ready for, um, for when I do all the, the ending I'm wearing it sort of thing. <laughs> but I think that is it for today. I will leave this off tomorrow. So t I'm going to try and go to the craft store tomorrow and get what I need. And then I might make that bow tomorrow and then... It's Tuesday tomorrow, and then I will announce the giveaway winner. So, I mean, you guys won't know till Wednesday anyways, but I'll announce it and they'll be notified. So by Wednesday when it goes up, I can say who won. Um, so that's what's on the agenda tomorrow, and I guess to start editing at some point. So this will be ready for you on Wednesday, and then I'll start getting into that tutorial. Hopefully it won't take me too long. Since I'm not going into too much detail, since most of the details were in the first video. But that is it for today. I will see you all tomorrow. Hello, it is now Tuesday the 11th. So I'm just going to do my quick little sign off. But before I do that, I'm of course going to announce the giveaway winners. I just did my random comment picker and the two winners that it picked were Fawn Teresa and Serena McDonald. And I've checked and they did the Google form. So I have already notified them that they have won. Go ahead and check your emails. So I just wanna say thank you. Thank you everyone who participated. And it was really cool to finally do like a fun giveaway. And We'll see what happens when maybe I hit 3,000. I'll have three of something to give away, most likely. <laughs> but uh, I just wanna say that I did end up going to the craft store and I did pick up a little charm to go on my dress here. So I ended up picking up a little pearl. 
I did find some gemstones, but they were all in silver or they were like super tiny or they were like not gold. They were more of an antique color. So that wasn't going to work. So even though this is hanging on a silver end, you can't really tell from far away, but you'll just see the pearl. So I thought that was going to be really pretty anyways, since pearls kind of come from clams from the ocean. So <laughs> I figured that was a good um, alternative. So I just have to sew that all on. I just picked it up today earlier, so I didn't have a chance to do it yet. But I did do, I did finally finish off the bow. And so this is what I decided to make. I kind of copied the bow for my angelic pretty. It's got this like small bow, big bow layer. I think I should have made this slightly shorter, shorter. But I think that's okay. So I just added some of the lace that I used. And then I put the trim that I used on the blue here on my dress on the blue fabric here. And then the trim that I used on the lining fabric here. So it kind of all complements each other. And then the ribbon down the middle. So I have a headband in my closet. I just got to get up there and get it down from the top shelf. Um, so this is my bow. So it'll go like can't get that far away <laughs> but it'll kind of look like that or like this and then I have I do have this wig that I bought with a Shein purchase that I made a while back um, just to see how their wigs were it's totally not the greatest wig ever um, my green one that I'm usually wearing is really good quality, but I got that off Etsy. But I like this one because I think the color is gonna be okay with this dress. And it's got the bangs. Um, they're, they look a little short, but I believe I cut them to where they, they're just above my eyes. So hopefully they'll be okay. But this will be the wig that I use. Oops. Cooperate just want to see a little bit in front there so it kind of look like like that and then with the bow headband on top I'm trying to do bouncy act now something like that it looks a little weird but it's okay and then I'll have those boots with the lace on them so I'm gonna be using those boots and I do have these tights that I was just gonna get some basic tights because I didn't have anything else. But these are a little too dark compared to the blouse. And I don't know if that's gonna be not um, cohesive. So I'm gonna try and go to the store um, in the next couple days and see if I can find something a little closer to this blue more than this blue. This matches the dots, because the dots are so small that they, they're perfectly matched. But with the blouse blue, it's not, it's not working. <laughs> At least I don't think it is. I tried to like put my hand in, but as you can see, they're, they're very opaque. So it's, I thought maybe it would lighten it up a little bit, but no, it's still, it's still the same. So I'm gonna try and see if I can find some tights or leggings or not leggings, but something that'll match closer to that blue. If not, then this is what I got. That's all I got to work with right now. But that is it. That's my almost finished look right here, minus the makeup. So yeah. So I was looking for like makeup inspiration yesterday and it just seems like there's a lot of pink. <laughs> there's a lot of pink looks that I, and that's all I really found. I think I found one with like bits of blue with pink and then I found one that was like a purple and pink and then there was like the really subtle like brown and then there was like subtle pink with like, 
I forget the, I forgot at the time, but like they have the big eyes. So they make the eyeliner and then they go underneath. So it makes your eyes look bigger. I don't have contacts. Um, at this point, I think it's a little too late to get any contacts. Not that I even know how to use them. I've never worn contacts. So I don't know if this is the best time to try, especially if I'm like last minute searching for them. But um, I think I'll pass on that this time around. Uh, but definitely, I have an idea for the liner, but like, I don't know if I want to do like a blue makeup or I might just have to go with the like subtle, like browns and nude colors and, um, do that. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to keep looking, but I did see so much pink. There was so much pink looks even on YouTube, on Pinterest. Um, I haven't checked Instagram yet. Um, so I'll look on there and see what I can find for makeup ideas. But that is pretty much the dress. I'm going, I'm actually in the middle of editing right now. I just needed to film this last bit once my girls fell asleep. And then I will do tutorial this week. I should be starting a diamond painting and I'm going to focus on that so I can get it, a video up on that done quick. And I think I'm going to try something new with my, um, like a whip and chat. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, I think I'm going to try something new and do like a story time with something I'm super passionate about. So I'm going to plan on doing that once I finish this tutorial. And then I do have another project ready to go for next month. So I'll kind of give you guys a little sneak peek so that you can see what's coming up next month. So these are some of the patterns I've been looking at. I want to do some sort of like gothic outfit, but like normal wear gothic outfit or like alternative outfit. And I really want to do this blouse with this collar. This collar is just calling to me. And I think I might pair it with this dress because that's a really cute dress. I just love the silhouette. Um, so those are options. This one I was thinking about. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't think I want to do this one anymore. Or not right now anyways. But this one, lo and behold, I originally bought this one for like a queen, like fantasy, full out um, queen sort of dress. It was like an idea pattern. But I saw this and I think I really want to do this. And funny enough, I have fabric just like this. So this will probably be my very next video. And here is my fabrics. Now these fabrics I bought on clearance at Hancock Fabrics when they were going out of, well, before they went out of business. And so they had it on their, their clearance table. And I saw them and I knew I wanted them, but I didn't know what to make with them at the time. Mind you, this is like six years ago. But now, I think that's going to be great. They're knit fabrics, so they stretch. They're a little see-through, so I'm going to have to do something about that. Um, but I'm definitely going to practice some knits. Because there's some really great patterns that require knit fabric. So... I need to practice working with it and sewing it. So this will be my June project. Something that you can basically wear every day and a little alternative. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead, um, subscribe. And then if you hit that bell, it'll tell you every time that I upload a video or make a post or anything like that or go live. So if you want to keep track, um, it'll just instantly tell you. So you can go ahead and do that. But otherwise, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed. Um, like I said, 2000 is pretty crazy. So, and it's already going up. Like it's already making its little trek up the stairs. So, <laughs> so for one last time, I will say thank you, thank you, thank you. And hopefully I will see you guys all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.